Hi, my name is Curtis Mutter. I am the Senior Solution Manager for Christie Mystique, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Mystique Install to quickly align and blend three projectors on a flat screen. In the simulation we've set up, you can see I've got three projectors aimed at my screen, and to make things a little bit interesting, I've aligned them so that they're not directly shooting at the screen. We've also positioned a camera into our environment that sees the entire screen. Now the camera doesn't have to be positioned perfectly straight onto the screen, as you'll see. We're going to launch our Mystique install software, and we're going to use the guided setup tool, which offers a very quick and easy way to run through these configurations. So the first thing we need to do is select our projectors. Uh, the software will check your net network and identify any of the projectors that are available. In the second step, we select the camera, so this is a single camera configuration, so we're going to select the camera that we've deployed. In the third step, this is where we're going to define our screen boundaries. So we do this by dragging each of these control points to the corner points on our screen. So you can see I can kind of rough these into place using my mouse, and then using the control key I can zoom in and actually refine that alignment to make sure I get really good accuracy into those corners on my screen. So I'll go through and check each of these four corner points. And once I'm happy with that alignment, I'm going to move on to the next step. So what you'll see at this point is the software is going to take control of your projectors for a few seconds. Now each projector is going to shine a bunch of light patterns onto the screen, do some analysis. So every time we put one of these patterns up, we capture it back into the software using the camera that we've deployed. And this can take anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute per projector to run through the process. Once it's done, the Mystique software is going to take a best guess at figuring out the layout. So you can see here, we've defined a one by three layout. We're gonna set up the content overlap, so it's gonna guess at what it is. We've defined it as 20%, and this needs to match your media server environment. So make sure you know what that value is coming in. We click next and it's going to finalize the deployment so you'll see a little bit more processing. And here the new warps and blends are generated and stored either onto the projectors or passed into your Pandora's box environment. So to validate the alignment we can use the integrated test pattern capability. So I'm going to draw my new grids here to make sure I'm happy with the alignment, especially the edges and the boundaries. And if I want to see what the, the original configuration was, I can just click the native button and this will unload the warps and blends that have been applied. So you can see here there was a lot of keystoning happening um, and the software corrected for that once the warps and blends were applied. So once I reapply the, the warps and blends, you'll see I get my nice grid back and I'm ready to save my layout. I can pack up my Mystique software and I'm ready to move on with my show. So for more information on Mystique, please visit us at christydigital.com slash mystique.